At the Coliseum today, the Seattle Seahawks defeated the Rams 16 to 10. Here's a Ram head coach, Sean McVay. Losing football games and turnovers, and, and we turned the ball over five times today, and that's not a recipe for winning football. That's not something that we can afford to do if we expect to win games moving forward. That was one of many plays that didn't help the outcome for the game for the Rams today. Uh, you know what? It just, I think, it was probably one of those plays that didn't, didn't expect it. And, uh, you know, I'd have to talk to Sammy about that. But, um, you know, until you go back and truly look at it out and can't say, and, and I haven't had a chance to specifically talk with Sammy about that one individual play. You've had a lot of chips in the red zone as a result of either field goal attempts or today some unfortunate turnovers. Is there something that's going on in that area that? You guys feel like you could do better, or what you could do better? Well, certainly, yeah. I, I think you got to first of all look at you know it, it starts with me, and I've got to make sure I'm looking at myself critically. And are we running plays that are conducive for giving our players a, a chance to have success? So those are things that after you know wins or losses, you've got to look at yourself first, uh, and then we've got to evaluate some of the things that we're doing. Uh, but also give credit to Seattle; they're an excellent red zone defense. Uh, I thought it really hurt our ability when we were not efficient on first down. Then you get yourself in some second and longs, uh, and it's going to be tough to be able to convert in the third and longs against an excellent front and then when they play such good tight coverage so we didn't help ourselves today but uh, anytime that we're not successful uh, as a team but specifically offensively when you're the play caller uh, it starts with me and I've got to do a good job of, of going and evaluating myself and some of the spots I'm putting our players in. How frustrating is that um, as a play caller? You're trying to obviously play chess with the other guy, but when they are stopping you on, on those early downs. Yeah, it's it's absolutely frustrating. And, and uh, you know, those are one of those things that, that you got to try to find a solution. And the nice thing about the NFL is you don't have a very long to feel sorry for yourself, whether things are good or bad. And, and right now we didn't get the result that we wanted. Uh, I'm sick about it, but I give credit to Seattle. Uh, but we will move forward and can't wait to get, get back to work, look at this film, and find a way to get ready for a good Jacksonville team this week. Uh, you know, we've got a lot of confidence in the depth that we do have at the safety positions. Wanted to get another corner up because of some of the situations we have at the injuries. And I thought you saw John Johnson, Cody Johnson did a nice job today. Um, but but that was that was the decision there, Gary. Alexander has been kind of a staple starter for you. Did he, do, did he miss a meeting? Did he? No, it was nothing disciplinary. You know, no, it wasn't anything like that. Uh, we're always evaluating our personnel and, and trying to figure out uh, how we can get the best 46 up. And that's not exclusive to defense. That involves the special teams. And that was the decision that we made. But uh, absolutely nothing to do with anything that Mo didn't do in terms of handling his business uh, off the field. Is there something, though, that John Johnson gives you that maybe Mo is not giving you? Uh, I, you know what, and, until you go back and you look at the way that John played today, uh, and I know just when you're able to look at it from afar, he made a couple splash plays, was in a position uh, as a middle safety to get over the top on some deep balls, obviously makes the pick. Uh, and I think John's a player that since he got here, he's continued to grow, uh, and he's a player that we have a lot of confidence in and uh, expecting him to continue to improve. But until we always go back and evaluate that tape out, and it's difficult to say. You guys were able to get a lot, of, more, a lot of pressure on Russell, but he extending a lot of plays. What did you maybe learn about what you guys need to do better against him and how do you think he was able to yeah, well, I think that's one of the, the traits that makes him unique. Uh, he's one of the best players in this league, and, and it's because of that ability to be able to extend plays uh, with his feet, keep his eyes down the field, make some off-schedule throws, but then he can also create with his legs as a runner. So I think that's one of the things that makes him special. Uh, from what I saw, it looked like our guys were flying around pretty good defensively. Uh, it was a great hard-fought battle, and I, I was pretty pleased with the defensive effort that we gave as a whole today. Ram head coach Sean McVay on his team losing to the Seattle uh, Seahawks today, 16 to 10. Both the Rams and Seattle are now tied for first place in the FC's Western Division with records of three and two. Next week, the Rams will be on the road in Jacksonville to take on the Jaguars.